Hey everybody, it's Bubbly for Zero for One, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I am going to show you um, my newest model acquisition. I went to a um, live model horse show this past weekend on June 25th. I had a really, really great time, and I will show, uh, do a results video and an experience video soon. But while I was there, um, there was a local Briar retailer, and so I went knowing that um, the new release, Arabian from Briar, is one of the um, horses that I wanted to come home with. So there were two to choose from. I know she has a couple of flaws that I'm hoping I can either cover up or give her a good Don just so bath and maybe some of them will come up. Um, the other one that I was choosing between had flaws too, so I kind of had to choose the, you know, the best um, of the two or what I felt was the best. The other one had a couple seam, uh, visible seams and stuff, and I felt like the shading on this one was a bit nicer, so that's why I went with this one. But I thought I would just do kind of a um, live unboxing video um, for you guys, something a little bit different, and then kind of do a little bit of an overview of her um, once I have her opened. So. This is my first one on this mold. Um, I do not have any on this mold and I really don't have that many Arabians. The only other two uh, traditional sized Arabians in my collection are two stones. One of them not even being a full-blooded Arabian because he is roan, so I show him as a Korab. Um, and then my other one is just a Fleet and Gray Design a Horse Stone from 2016. So I thought it would not be a bad idea to expand my Arabians here and I can't really see what the view looks like on the camera so hopefully it's coming out okay. Alright, so we'll flip her over onto the fuzzy carpet. See what we're dealing with here. So this is the hard to cut ones, and I don't have uh, pliers with me, so we're just gonna have to see what we can do. Get some of the sides gone here. There is one. Not too bad. I was worried about a box right on this side. I'm going to show you. I don't see anything in the immediate here. Just dust her off a little bit here, you guys. So my first take on her, she actually is really pretty. And I don't really see a lot in terms of... I was worried about kind of like box rubs, shiny marks, that kind of thing. This isn't the best lighting. There's a little bit of a shiny mark here. Sorry if you didn't see much of that because I don't know what the camera was showing, but I'll pick up the camera up in just a second and kind of go over her with you there. Um, but overall, I really liked her color. It's just a very nice, simple um, bay, but when you look at Arabians, that's usually what they are. Um, you know, bay, chestnut, black, gray, the four really most predominant colors. Um, for Arabians. Her shading is really nice. She is just this nice darker bay. Um, and I'll pick up the camera and show you guys a little bit more too here. And I'll show you some of the marks that I could see um, on her when I hadn't taken her out of the box just yet. 
but overall really she looks quite nice. Alright, let me pick you up here for a little bit of a closer view. I apologize if you didn't get a really good view of me taking her out of the box, but um, really nice model actually. I'm quite surprised. She looks yellowish right now because it's been rainy out for basically the whole month of June and it is in the evening. So I have the room light on. So she's looking a little bit more yellow um, than she really truly is. She really is this nice dark bay color. She has a little bit of a shiny mark right there. It is something that I should be able to take care of for her. Has a little bit of a dark spot there on the hip. Um, and then these I could see in the box. She has some of these more, some more of those dark bumps right there. Um, I don't know if I can either wash them off or just try to cover them up. Um, but overall, we all know we are not going to get a model from Briar that doesn't have um, its flaws. The other one had a little bit more of a seam on the muzzle that I didn't really like. And I'll see if I can get it to focus here. A little bit, there you go. So she has a little bit of a seam kind of right there above the nostril, but the other one had a little bit more. Um, the other one also had a little bit more of a messed up ear. You can see she has a little bit of a molding issue um, there, but otherwise, Again, we're gonna expect these things with um, just mass-produced briars, but I'm excited to have another mare. I really obviously have um, generally more geldings and stallions than I do mares. And overall, um, really, she seems like a nice mold. She has good substance for kind of what an Arabian is supposed to be. Initially, um, this mold, what freaked me out about this mold was the front legs a little bit. I felt like her front legs um, were a little bit forward, a little bit overextended, like the knee looks a little bit awkward right there to me. And it still kind of does, but um, I've seen that this mold has done well at shows and I just thought a really nice regular run, um, you know, bay color. You, you really can't go wrong with that. Um, the new Morgan release on the newer Morgan mold, Native Sun, I don't have him, but if I was judging, he would be in one of my top placings. Very simple color, he is a regular run. But when regular runs are done nicely and they are done on really nice, um, you know, breed correct molds, they can do really well. They can even do better than some of your limited editions, um, some of your stones, things like that even. So I am really happy to add this horse to my collection. The other model from that Briar was coming out with um, this year was that Fjord Pony, um, so I may still add that one to my collection. Uh, the, her and this horse were really the only two releases um, from the regular run lineup this year that really interest me. Um, again, just really nice molds and realistic um, colors and breeds on those molds. So really quite happy with her overall. Has a couple small flaws I'll see if I can try to fix, but if I can't, I really don't think it's going to be... Um, a deal breaker in the end because she is nice and I really do like uh, the shading on her. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. I don't have a name for her but I'll have to figure that out and as promised I will have a um, results video from Head into the Mountains Live and an experience video out as soon as possible. As always if you have any other uh, video ideas please comment them down below. Any questions, comments for me um, I will always accept those with pleasure. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care. Bye.